uh, and we'll be talking to him shortly. Um, what are on the top of you guys' minds? Uh, I want to find out what it's like to be him, uh, how he got to the position where, you know, I mean, what was happening in that house and what he allowed to happen. Yeah. I just want to understand the mind's mindset. I, guess. I want to know, and I haven't heard this. It might be, on. there's so many interviews that I could have missed this, but I want to know about the first meeting with Rackus, exactly how it was, what yeah. went down, how this whole thing was propositioned. Was how it, it all yeah, I mean, it, from the jump? It, it's quite a tale he's going to tell, I think. Yes. Yeah, I have a few questions myself. Um, you know, I had an appearance on his show the other day, and and he denied swinging. He can he considers a delineation between swinging and like that what no. they had going on. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess there technically is, um, but it's swinging in my book. When you see the guy naked in a, in your kitchen after he yeah. fucked your wife, after uh, you fucked your wife, swinging, that's swinging, right? Yeah, that's swing. But it I'll, doesn't I'll, matter. I'll ask him uh, how you made that uh, delineation. I mean, technically, I can agree. You know, there is. Do you a, believe a that though? Do you believe what? that they weren't in the bedroom together? I have. I think there's serious doubts on that one. Oh, you're we'll taking Molly out. and Coke and alcohol, and you're going to tell me they even know who's in the room with them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll get to the truth of this one, boys. Yes. Yes. Uh, what, what would we call not lining it? up to me? Not quite the simp conspiracy. What would we, what would we call it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll figure out something. Uh, but he'll be here shortly. Uh, I see some people piling into chat as well. Over one thousand live watching the kill stream once again. Hit like. Follow the channel if you're new here. Uh, we have over a hundred likes. We should have one hundred and fifty likes by now. What well, did like he button. say for his? Uh, his birthday, he had a naked Mrs. Rackets come out and present the gift. Yeah, and Nick was like that. watching he very intently that. as this was going on. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a lot to unpack, boys. There's a lot to unpack. Yeah, sounds like swinging to me. If I ever heard <laughs> of swinging, but I guess he's saying since it was like a, um, you know, I don't, I don't know if you didn't call it. It was a white swap. Couple. Yeah, it was just a white swinging. Swap. I mean, that's well, classic swinging. You put all the, you know, all the keys and the little bowl at the front of the house. Well, this, and is, you this is out, up. isn't it? Aaron said that they slept in the same bed together, all four of them. Yeah. And the kids would knock on the door hungry, and he got up to feed them. I think he forgets. <laughs> I think he forgets at certain times what, and what he said. What he's well, he has been doing a lot of appearances, so I imagine yeah. if he's telling lies, it's going to start conflicting, right? No, I believe that, that they were all in the bed while the kids were banging on the door. Yeah. Let's see. That's about right. Hold on, I'm talking to him right now. Okay. Um, all right, here he comes. Um, now, well, I know that's not the right one. But, um, okay. Um, Aaron M. Holt from the Steel Toe Morning Show. Welcome to the Kill Stream, sir. How are you doing? Can you hear me? You might have to yes. Adjust. Yes, you can hear me. Okay, how you doing? Oh, not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> not good. Um, well, I always do this with new guests on the show, and so I won't change my status. We still have the hour 45, right, since we moved it up an hour, right? Hour and a half, hour 45. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll okay, all right. Hour uh, 45. Yeah. Um, all right, now... Who are you? Uh, introduce yourself. Most people know already, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm getting a echo back in my headphones here. We're good now. All right, never mind. Um, Aaron Imholt from the Steel Toe Morning Show. Um, also, whoop, whoop. one of the four people. Uh, I guess at least part time. Uh, Who's your wife? I don't know if we'd say living with uh, the Ricadas, uh, but at least spending a, a good chunk of time there. Yeah. Also, can you hear my uh, co-host? Uh, yes, I yes. Can. can you hear the co-host? Okay. Hello, sir. Hello, uh, sir. Hello, brother. This Welcome. Is, this is Godwinson hey, and Perspicasti. You, I don't know if you know those guys. Um, you will well, by the end of it. I think. Yeah, you will yeah. by the end. Um, now, I, let me I ask you, uh, first off, um, people want me to ask you this based on some clips. Um, did you uh, engineer this? Did you go to the police yourself? Uh no, I I, ne I didn't go to the police. And after reading the search warrant affidavit, uh, 
you know, I've, I've been out of there for almost eight weeks now. And that search warrant affidavit is really fucked up. And yeah. I feel bad about not going. And I it, and the reason I didn't go, which was I didn't want to look like I was guilty. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I've admitted well, everything. Did, it that. No, it was more I, I didn't want to look like, ironically, like I was going in and just snitching on them you want when you get to the point where you want to go and report it you start wondering okay is a lot of this in my head like is this maybe well, not as bad as I'm thinking it is and it wasn't and i today's been today's I, i'm not gonna sit here and go today's been hard for me today's been hard for me to live with the guilt that i have because the whole thing is just fucking snowballing so fast and i'm not like a commentator on it i i was part of it and I don't feel good, if that makes sense. But you are doing a lot of commentary, Aaron. I am. On the yeah, very it, scenario. It's, it's fucking bananas. It's like, it's on my show, I talk about my life and I talk about the news. The news happens to yeah. be my life. But I mean, interview. on your show, you kind of kept all this hidden, right? What's that? You kept all of this hidden on your show for a while, bro. I mean, you weren't I telling everyone your audience that further, brackets say, are doing rails or field bikes that. Yeah, I would. I would say I went further than natural life. Uh, concealed it. I lied. I mean, I fucking lied to protect people. You and once it was really once the uh, the really drunken stream came out last week that I decided I just I got to sing because this is this is a disaster like this. The, and, it, you know, to see in the search warrant affidavit that the show I did that Tuesday also showed up in the search warrant affidavit is kind of kind of wild that they use that as as part of the reason. I'm not going to pretend that's why I did it, but um, I mean, I, is I that why I'm you did it? it what is that why you did it though? No, some I because some speculation. No, I did it because I was fucking pissed at Nick. Just because I've had conversations with him, I've had conversations with all of them about you know cutting the shit and and not doing coke anymore, and and it's just I I was the I was basically the narc. I was the wet rag. I was I believe well, the phrase they used was you're trying to control our use and. I was kind of the odd man out in that regard. So I just got, I, I just, I'm battling a lot of different emotions. And like I told you, Ralph, uh, in a DM, you and Alex tonight are going to be the last shows outside of my channel I do because I've been doing too many channels, too many shows, talking to too many people. I've just been kind of saying yes to everybody um, because I thought it would be kind of almost therapeutic to get this out, but it ain't helping. Um, just more shit keeps coming out and I just keep, feeling more conflicted bad shit so I, I think after you and alex after i honor the commitments i've made i'll just keep it to my own shows and and kind of keep it there now i i talked to you on your show last week and i asked were you involved uh in the swinging lifestyle uh and you denied that uh to yeah. my face uh and then a comment in chat says ralph he called it swinging he simply said he lied to you to save it for the kino casino uh is that true no, I didn't lie to save it for Kino Casino. I lied because I'd been tap dancing around it a lot and legit, I just wasn't ready. Um, once I saw the arraignment, all the money rolling. Saw... No, that's, and that's not it either because I didn't need to. I mean, mention you have earned a lot of money off their singing, bro. Oh, no, absolutely. But I don't think I needed yeah. to mention that part for the money to keep rolling in. I mean, I'm not going to pretend that I haven't gotten a shitload of attention and more audience and money because of this, but it's also my life, my story. Nobody else is telling it because nobody else is taking responsibility for what they did. If you'll remember when I started talking about this stuff and, and even to right now, I've only shared what I've seen, what I've experienced, and I've been very open about my flaws and what I've done wrong. And I, I, I don't, I don't know if I'm, if I, I, I honestly, if I think I confess my sins enough, I think I'll, I'll feel better. It's certainly not going that way. Now, let me so, ask. Oh, I think you'll feel better the more you talk about it. So on Ralph's point, Go ahead. When you denied that you were swinging, there was a distinction made, wasn't there? So what would you describe it as? And what was the scenario that yeah. you found yourself in? I, I would say it turned into, it evolved into almost full-blown, the couples flipped. Um, so is that, I, is that swinging? Or what I don't know. I, I see more swinging as like, a, like you, you, have, you have two sets of partners and there's casual sex. And it, it got to be more than that. There got to be a lot of feelings being thrown around and it got really uh, emotionally messy. 
I would say. Ah, let's pick up on that then. So I've seen some tweets from you where you've been. Oh, I'll let this play. Daniel yeah, Larson I, let it play. Two dollars on Rumble. Keep that thought though. Before everyone sees the arrest body cam footage, what do expect to be the craziest event shown? Put a pin in that thought because I know it's a good one. Uh, but he says before everyone sees the arrest body cam footage, what do you expect to be the craziest event shown in the footage? Me? Yeah. Oh man, what am I? Uh, the, the uh, actually for me the the physical. You got to remember, I know what the house looks like. I know where the drugs are and everything like that. So that's not really going to shock me. I've been. Well, that's another rooms. thing that you said that had some people questioning because you knew exactly where the drugs are and the police seem to know exactly where the drugs are, were yeah. uh, uh, in the well. safe and stuff like that. So yeah, but like they knew exactly where to find all you those stuff. Know, I actually didn't know about the set. There was a second safe. I guess they searched. I only knew you about mentioned the a small bathroom safe or something like that. Right. I uh, know about, yeah, I know about the small, I didn't know they called that a safe. I thought of it more as a lockbox kind of a thing. I knew about that, but they said they looked at a second safe. I didn't ever know anything about that. Um, I, I maybe it w I might have said something on my show, uh, the show that was in the search warrant affidavit. I don't know. Or they could have just been going through the whole house. I mean, I know they found baggies and straws out, so I think they may have been used. If I read that right, they may have been using just recently and left it out, and that may have led them sure. to search everything else, but... I, yeah, I haven't talked to the, um, uh, you know, before they did the search warrant and all that, I never talked to any authorities or anything like that. Um, most but surprising. Have you now? Thing, well, uh, yeah, I've had to. They've, <laughs> right. Uh, they, uh, they want to talk to, uh, uh, there's, there's been a couple different groups that want to speak to me about what I saw and what I did. Now, um, let, let me ask right. you this Are you worried about any uh, potential charges on you? Or or no. or difficulties with your with your children custody and stuff like that. Um, difficulty with my children, no, but Didn't I'm sound aware, sure. But, but I'm aware that like I I've been made aware that just as a precaution, they are going to have to talk to me. Um, so you, so well, you you may I'll, be I'll have, in Hawaii. I'll, I'll get back to I'll you. I'll have guys. my lawyer. I'll have my lawyer present. Of course, for it, you but should. I don't. But but he and I spoke, and we don't. And my ex-wife and I have spoken, and we're all, uh, if possible, she she will be there as well. We're we're all on the same page on this. I'm not worried about. Can I just ask quickly? Is your lawyer Nick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a real one. Right. Well, yeah. now go back to Gamas and uh, what you wanted to ask. If you yeah, I did want to pick up on something there. So as you were describing how this wasn't like a swingers thing, you were sort of saying that feelings were in the air, and I've seen some of your tweets recently where you sort of talk about how. I mean, let's be real. Did you develop feelings for the wife and did he develop more feelings for your wife? So you became like, yeah, swip swapped. Well, both, yeah. both of us, both of us did. And we discussed it. I mean, it was not a secret. We talked, you know, we were all very open with how we felt. Um, as I watched kind of my wife um, consume more and more, her and I fought more and more. And I wasn't, she wasn't enjoying me talking to her about it and i wasn't enjoying her yelling at me about it so i gravitated more towards kayla and she gravitated more towards me and those so two what was kayla doing was kayla like the voice of reason to nick as well like you were to april kayla would occasionally voice a concern and a desire to stop uh she was uh, i mean I, like i said I've, I've said many times i i probably did it I did cocaine maybe three times. I mean, like four lines or bumps, you know, total. I just really wasn't into it. I didn't like it. Um, Daniel Larson Kayla was a little easier to Rumble. persuade, but I know I had multiple conversations with her about cutting back. She told, again, I can only say what I've heard and seen. Kayla told me that she did have conversations with Nick about stopping and or cutting back. Now I have a super chat here uh, from Daniel Larsenstein that says, "In the past, I treated coke like the ring. I kept it secret. I kept it safe. I made sure I always had an out to destroy it if need be." Did Nick ha ever have a secret phrase or text to destroy all drugs? Not that I knew of. No. If okay. he did, I didn't know about it. Now on the kosher casino, uh, you said that this was basically your idea uh, to fully open things up and join in. Uh, was it Thruple? I don't know. Uh, marriage. I, I proposed. I I um, I proposed it to April while we were on vacation. I don't know what that says about me. I think maybe subconsciously it said maybe I was bored. Uh, you know, I, I I can say this. I can't advocate 
this kind of lifestyle. I can't advocate doing it. It will fucking destroy your relationship. What? And I think also to bring it up might mean that you should seek counseling with either you or you and your partner. Because there's something. So, what made you want to ask her when you well, were on vacation, yeah. bro? Did you want to see her get railed? Like, what did you want to see out of no, her? Going no, through, yeah. Like, it was a little more. It was maybe a little more selfish on my part. Um, Go on. That maybe I, you know, I wanted to try somebody else. Um, and obviously, you can't. It's hard to ask for that without, you know, there being a reciprocation. But I, I, I don't know. And it, it seems a, like a lifetime ago. And I don't feel like the same guy anymore uh, on the other side of weeks, all this. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, well, no, I mean, it's been six and a half. I mean, it's been since December. Six and a half weeks. That all this started. No, six and a half months. Right. Yeah. right. So uh, here's where I want to get to, Aaron. So you've opened up the marriage. I think she's hot. You know, I do coke off her ass, Aaron, for real. She's beautiful. Yeah. She, I wouldn't she's really beautiful. look much elsewhere. And if I was looking elsewhere, I wouldn't look at another man's wife who's 40. I'd be like, I'd be looking for younger bridges, to be honest. So what made you go to like the racket household? How did that happen? I I, I think it was the the reputation um the cloud that they had going in and yeah. that it was and yeah. that we, we would probably well, be in yes. Was. Yeah. Now was so, it Godwinson is saying was it the clout that they had or was it just no, the reputation? No, you know, we really and, and that's what people are people are really kind of um, missing that part when they ask me, did Nick ever talk about this guy or that guy? Nick and I didn't talk about streaming. Nick and I didn't talk no, about. You just talked about fucking each other's wives. I mean, it wasn't really a lengthy. They were. They weren't lengthy <laughs> conversations all the time. But yeah, no. I, we, I, I mean, we didn't talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, I and I didn't see. Um, I didn't see any kind of raise in what I was doing, but based on hanging out with him, it really was a friendship. Like we hung out after that comedy show. We went out drinking. It was a good time. And holy so when shit, did you ask him, hey, can it, I fuck your wife it. and you can you fuck mine? When did that happen? When did that conversation occur? If you just go from, because I, I know you can I, be friends with people, but then to ask that of someone, that's fucked. Well, April and I talked about it, and then it became a group, a four-person group text. So it Heck. wasn't like individuals. And then we all we all sat down one day when we got back from vacation, and we talked about it and, you know, just it, it discussed it. And, uh, and was yeah, everyone on the same it, page? From what I recall, yeah, everybody was uh, interested in, in going that route. Yeah. Wow. Well, so from, right, no, so no. from that discussion, do you want to get jump. undressed and start fucking, or do you like? No, what no, no, <laughs> no, and, and no. It didn't happen. Right <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was it was a ways down the road. I mean, I don't think the first time was. I want to. I want to say until G G late December, January, maybe. All right, now let me ask this question. That's, then I want to. the beginning, though, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait. Hold yeah. on. Let me oh, ask this. It is. But... One listen, second. By the way, callers. I if I could. If oh, finish I could, your thought. I finish feel, your thought. Finish I, your I thought. feel like with everything that's going on now, I feel like I'm feeling really shitty about the amount of sex stuff I've divulged. Once I started, I just couldn't fucking stop myself like an asshole. Um, so if we, could, if we could get this topic kind of rolling and out, you know. Uh, well, I mean, we, we'll roll with it. But as you said at the top of this, Open and honesty and letting it all out is the best catharsis and it's the best part of healing. Isn't it? I no, I understand. I I absolutely agree with you. Um, and you didn't seem to feel that way on the kosher casino, to be honest. You know, they're asking about. I mean, I, I will say his about, manner yeah. here and your manner here, uh, Aaron, is a lot more sort of measured and serious. You know, you're not sort of, you know, completely pissing away this marriage. So I assume that she's been in touch and you're trying to work this out, right? No, no, not at all. This is all just. This has all been my. Uh, if I could use the phrase, my own personal journey. I'm, I, you know, you got to remember. Mein Kampf. Yeah, this is yeah, this is my <laughs> this is my struggle. Um, it, it's like I don't know the right way to handle this, and I'm kind of just throwing everything at the wall. And day to day, I feel differently about the whole thing than I did the day before. I mean, there's times I get sure. done with a, a a stream and I go, "Fuck, I shouldn't have said that." Or I get done with a stream and I think, fuck, I should have said that. All right, now, it's, um, Daniel Larson I, you know, I, I, you know I'm not them. expecting it. Nobody should feel any fucking sympathy for me, but I, I'm having a hard time navigating the thing. The one thing I always want to make sure that, that I'm doing, though, is when I talk, what I'm saying is accurate, factual, and correct. All right, now, let me ask you I super chat questions. Uh, Noseberg33 says, how do you feel knowing they're facing 25 years in prison? I don't think you quite comprehend the severity of that. 
one day I feel like, you know what, fucking good because these drugs, you know, and this stuff helped contribute to a situation where I fucking lost everything. And I, well, not everything. I mean, obviously I have my children, I have my health, I have all that, but like it made me lose something that I thought I'd have for a, a long time. And um, it, it got out of hand and it got fucked up. And, uh, but then there are other days where I go, well, hey, Aaron, you're responsible for that too. Like you, have, you had a part to play in this too. So the 25 years, what I'm really hoping, what I'm really hoping is they admit what they did. They, well, they're facing they 25 to, years in prison, man. Like you don't just plead well, guilty no, but to I'd that. Like like. To see, well, you know, and look, as I, as I talk to my lawyer, uh, you know, there's a lot of, I, if, if they take the right steps, I don't think they're going to spend any time in jail. If they can go to rehab, go to therapy, get off this shit, kick I it. Heard that lead down and and just and work their number one goal right now i wish should be getting their children back and the only way they're going to be able to get their children back is if they admit that this all got away from them this life is unlivable that they need to get better i'm i'm you know i my emotions run the gambit constantly i'm not doing the greatest but right now there's a lot more compassion than i've had the last couple of days because seeing like those kids have been through enough and I hope they get their fucking parents back. But the only way, but I can't just sit here and be a, a, an asshole and go, Oh, I need them to have their parents back. But they're no, their parents need to be in a position to be good parents. They can't just go back to what they were. So what I, I know they're facing 25 years. I hope they feel that pressure. I hope they can find a way to cut some kind of a deal that involves them taking the right kind of steps, a probationary sentence that doesn't let them have any drugs or alcohol and they can get on the path to getting their kids back because they have money. They have a beautiful house. They have all the advantages that people need to make this work and not worry. They just need to take those, those personal responsibility steps so they can get healthy. That's what I'd like to see. All right, now let me read this super chat. Well, another one just came in. Hold on, let me. And I'll read them both. Hold on, just just let me, one at a time. And I appreciate the support. Hopefully we can hit the goal again. Uh, Daniel Larson Stan says, original Mr. Man in chat is right. If you're looking for another hookup, did you know that Warsi's mom is available and quite the swinger? I didn't know that. No, uh, I'm not sure. I can't confirm that. But I've, uh, I've I've learned a, a lot about the little beeps in this portion of the internet, and uh, yeah. holy fuck! I definitely shit. wouldn't suggest his girlfriend because uh, she is yeah. a real homunculus. Uh, so, mm. but uh, anyway, mm. uh, yeah, I'll leave that there. Um, and you, um, by the way, PPP trying to get you to dox their kids' location. I on thought the show, that was pretty. Seedy, that was disgusting. Bro. And, and I, I mean, the one part I actually do somewhat respect you for is that you kind of said. Yes, that. and I, I wanted to give you a gold star for not revealing yeah. that, and they were pressuring you to do so at least he was uh and yeah. you could have done that and you didn't so i will i will give you credit i'll give you Please credit there ten dollars congrats yeah. on your well thank you i mean i'm calls. obviously i'm not gonna an i wasn't gonna answer that question yeah that was fucked up yeah, I, think, I think we can all agree i mean look that. all of us have a lot to atone for all of us did a lot of things wrong and and i was kind of hoping that if i came out and i admitted what i did wrong and talked about what i saw you know, yeah. uh, other people would too, but the kids did nothing wrong. So there's, I'm not going to uh, implicate them in anything or talk about them or reveal names or ages yeah. uh, or I anything like that. Agree. I completely I agree. Wanna, I completely agree. I only want to hold the guilty accountable and I'm one of the guilty. All, All right. I want to do is just find out what you're atoning for really. So I know you have that initial conversation. You're all sat around, you all somewhat agree. And then sometimes after at what point and, and what scenario do you find yourself in? Do you fuck his wife? Does he fuck your wife first? Do you both go off into separate rooms? How does that play out? And then how does it escalate the to the point where we're like, we need to atone? Was, yeah, it was the last one. It was, you know, you go off into separate rooms. It was never like all together, giant orgy type of thing. It was not that. And I think that probably contributed to the feelings developing and everything else when you're alone with somebody else, you know. Yeah. Uh, now, um, and how did he try to dox the kids unpleasant alex he asked uh where they were staying and they would immediately be doxed on kiwi farms just as april was doxed uh last night on kiwi farms that's how so if you want to run defense oh, no. with those faggots uh don't don't even try it in my chat whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, i really i that's shitty i really because one, one thing i do want to say is that i really hope that april gets better and goes back to who she was sure. she really is a beautiful incredible person and i and what her and i have been through it's too late it's too far gone for both of us but I really hope she gets back to who she was at the beginning of this because she's a 
and the, before and the fact that so aim aim alex the fact that wait 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 the fact that aim aim alex will try to run defense for the kosher casino is just insane uh by the way and i'll say that publicly and if i see you do it again uh we're gonna have a problem uh, i'm just gonna tell you that right now a big problem uh now let me read this uh super chat from octopus he says question for aaron what made you want to swoop your nubile cutie wife he's he's saying this for a busted haggard 40 year old that had five kids who must have a body like porridge and a plastic hair and a vagina like a wizard sleeve. Again, not me saying that. Super no. chat. No, um, none of that. First of all, I, it, that's, I mean, probably, I probably don't even need to address that part, but that's not accurate, first okay. of all. Um, I genuinely, I genuinely like Kayla as a person. I do. Um, or at least, I, I shouldn't say that. I genuinely liked the person Kayla was when I was when with you first her started talking. Talk, and we would talk and everything else. It just, you know, yeah. Um, that's the problem with what all I want to know, Aaron, is like when does the Molly and the drugs come into the here. deck? I, I, yeah, let me finish this. Thought, say, finish this let, let me let me just say this. Um, all three of them, there are parts of them, and it's the sober parts that I genuinely like. I, I mean, I wouldn't have been there. I wouldn't have hung out with them if I didn't genuinely sure. like who they were. Sober, even Nick. Nick is a decent dude when he's not fucked up. The problem is he just started being more and more fucked up. And, and when did that come into the equation then, Aaron? When did you all start partaking in these drugs? Was it on the first bat or was it a few interactions after? No, it was it was a few interactions in. We didn't just start doing it right away. I don't know about Nick and Kayla. I can only speak for April and I. Um, but right. it was over a month after meeting them. I mean, it was we met in October, and I don't think the first time we did any drugs, or at least I consumed any drugs, I you know, it uh was not until this early December. Um mm. So, so what's their post-match breakdown then? So after that first time, you come out. Are you talking to April about what went down, or is it all just kept secret? We talked. I mean, we talked about it. I mean, uh, April and I tried all of the, you know, the um, the stereotypical things in that kind of world that you do, and um, it, it like what you know. Talk, well, you just asked like talking about it, things like that, and then you know uh, every detail. Yeah, I, I mean, look, I'm going to go as, as far into it as 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 I, I want to at the moment. But, um, yeah, I mean, we talked about it, and um, her and I were really good uh, for a while. I, I wouldn't even say that it was that degeneracy that even broke down the relationship. It was definitely more the drugs, not only yeah. the doing of them, but my attitude toward them as I kind of rejected the cocaine part of it. Um, I was a wet blanket. Like I was, you know, when people really want to do something and then somebody goes, guys, I don't think we should, that person's going to get fucking steamrolled. They're going to get you the fuck out of the way so they can get to the thing they want to do. And that, that created a big rift. And I, 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 I definitely didn't communicate it. I'm sure in a healthy way so that people who were, who really did a lot of it could hear me. Uh, but then again, I'm not a fucking doctor and I don't know how to. So I was, um, yeah, I, I, it's. I, I think the drugs played more into the downfall of all this than anything uh, sexual. The sexual stuff, I get it. It makes for good tawdry talk and everything like that. Yeah. But I think the, the right. less... The only thing I most, really want to ask just on the sexual stuff whilst we're still on it, who was the better lay, April or your wife? Or Rackett's wife, I should say. They were both wonderful. All right. Go on, go on. Who was the better lay? They were bo I, honestly, they were both very good with different things. All right. Like what? <laughs> They were both very good with different things. All right, I'll let him I'll let him stick with that. Uh Cliff sent this in. It has a song, so I won't play the song right now, but he said, Congrats on your fifteen minutes, M. Holt. And then he said, Fucking dummy, that's what he said. Now, do you feel like this yeah. might be dumb long term? Um It was all gonna come out. You look at the search warrant affidavit. There were people apparently well, around town that thought our relationship was weird. We were gonna be asked about it by authorities, courts, whatever. Like this, this was all gonna come to light. Um I, I, again, I didn't talk about this part of it until after the arrest. I mean, April's caught, you know, living at their house. I mean, everyone knows kind of, you know, <laughs> what the fucking score is. So, you know, I, it, the, the arrest thing really put me in a fucking weird spot because I'm like, well, this is humiliating for everybody. But like, here's the whole story. You know, it's going to come out George anyway. Um, so I, I, I didn't want a bunch of shit about myself 
to just come out there and me lie about it. I'm like, I better just fucking take the poison pill and talk about everything I've done. All right, now let me ask this super chat. Then we have Ryan Harkness, who's a guest on the show, who who called in. He wants to ask a question. Anybody can call in, by the way, and ask a question or send a super chat in with a question. Uh, George Lincoln Ralphwell says, did you... <laughs> Oh my God! Did you ever notice any Jewish paraphernalia lying around Nick's house? Any trails, Matzoff, whatever? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> no, no Jewish things in Nick's house. Okay, all right. Um, I, we went to a Passover seder once, but I thought that was a bit. Okay, that's yeah. a bit I'm Jewish, kidding. bro. Yeah, I know he's joking. Yes. Uh, okay, Ryan Harkness, unmute yourself, uh, and if you want to ask a question, go ahead. Yeah, do I sound okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, go you sound ahead. great. Go ahead. You can speak. Uh, oh. Well, there's another the super chat. 33 cent $1 on Rumble. <laughs> are you or are you not Matt Jarbo? Uh, are you or are you not Matt Jarbo? I don't know about that. Uh, by the way, Perspicacity, I, I'm trying to get him back in here. I, I don't know if he had to step away or what. Um, I but, think his browser crashed, bro. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, when he's ready, um, just... Just let me know, Perspicacity. Shamu is here. Okay, Perspicacity's back now. Um, I actually wanted to um, let Perspicacity open a line of questioning um, because I figured he had a few uh, as well. Sure. And it doesn't have to be sexual because I'm curious really about – so we we just watched on Chrissy Mayer the introduction of your wife, Tarakis. She's looking very, very hot there. Very presentable. Yes, like a shiny new toy. The first time they met. There. Yeah, yeah. Is that the first time that you guys? Is that the first time they actually met? Is it at the comedy show? No, it was on air no, on no, Chrissy Mayer's Mayer show. Oh, so they oh, didn't meet in person. The oh, first time they met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the, yeah. That was the first time that they were on a show together. Yeah. Now he's inviting her into his hot tub and giving his address. Yeah, up, literally within seconds of seeing her. Did you know about that? I mean, he, I watched. I he watched was in the Sim chat. He's super I imagine chatted. he was yeah, in the you, studio. You yeah. What did you think about that? I mean, he's coming on to your wife on air, basically. Boy, I don't remember. The thing I remember about that one is the Alex Stein confrontation. So I, I don't. Yeah, and he called you a lot of names, basically. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't. Honestly, that seems like a lifetime ago. I, I don't remember that even happening. But what I, that I before that or after? But it did happen. We just saw the clip. Where you want to open up the marriage? Yeah. Was that before or after? That's before, but okay. Because he's before. saying this is the first them. meeting, right? Met them in person, yeah. Hmm. So when do you actually meet them in person after this event? Give us like uh, a little uh, bit of a timeline. Timeline, yeah. Yeah, in October at the the what was supposed to be the Chrissy Mayer show. Obviously, Chrissy had that tragedy with her father go down. We met them at that show. Right. All right. Now there's uh, another question um, that that right. uh, was asked earlier. Super chat in okay. earlier. Um, it says, um, so, uh, "So your whole defense to being a cuck bitch, and I'm sorry, uh, not my words. Uh, your whole defense is that you complained the whole time." What? That's how the. That's what the question yeah. is. Um, I mean, a lot of people have been saying you're sort of a cook bitch. I mean, how would you respond to that? I mean, whatever. Um, but as far as complained all the time. Um, but that's your, I mean, he's I, saying your defense is that, well, I was complaining no, the whole time I, and telling him to get together. I and uh, No, I didn't yeah. complain the whole time. The, the cocaine thing was really the only point of contention we had as far as like my, like uh, if I had a consistent gripe, it would be, this is too much. We're, we're you know, everybody, you know, needs to back it down a little bit or stop. Um, I thought it was a little reckless, uh, to say the least. That was, I mean, that was my big complaint. Everything else was, you know, there'd be interpersonal dramas. There'd be interpersonal fights, you know, between couples or whatever. There'd be little dramas. I mean, when people are on drugs, I mean, they'll fight about the dumbest right. fucking shit, you know? What shocked me with how you're talking, right? It seems to me that if the drugs just weren't in the equation, you'd still be letting rackets fuck your wife. I don't know. Like, I it's would that have well, made the situation more? Uh, would that made the situation more appealing if there weren't drugs involved? If you could have just had the, like this swap I exchange? No, if I don't know if it would have happened if the drugs weren't involved. You know what I mean? But well, you said happened. they weren't involved at first. A few times before, when yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. weren't involved at first. What's that? What, hold on. Oh, you said they weren't involved at first, though. The drugs, right? Like, no, no, no. The, no, or the were drugs, they dropped right off top? 
the drugs. No, I said when we first met, there were no drugs. But well, there no, was in that first, was, in that there first was interaction was that you had when you were fucking this, his life. If they had stopped the drugs there, like you wanted them to do, would you still be engaged in this relationship with no, the Mercatus? Probably, no, probably not. I, I don't think so. It was falling apart. Uh, there's no way to say like if if the, the fighting and the drama and everything would have stopped if the drugs stopped. There's too many, there's too many dominoes that would need to fall. Uh, Did she reciprocate, Kayla, any of your affections towards her? What's that? Did Kayla reciprocate any of the feelings that you were having? Oh, yeah. Her? Oh, absolutely. Well, and were you really in love with her? Or are you just saying that to try to dig the knife in to Nick's no, back? No, I don't, you know, I don't know. Looking back, I, I, I don't know. I know at the time I thought I was, and I know at the time she thought she was. Um, I, I don't, I, to I don't know. the point of what? Were you planning to sort of elope, get out of there? No, 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 no. Nothing, together? nothing like that. Were you hoping just to... Uh, because it, it kind of seems like you were already annoyed with your wife, so it was a good yeah. way to kind of like swap off. Have it was driving. Called, it seems to me, right? You were you instigated this by your own words, and it seems to me that you had something called cook's remorse when it finally did kind of happen. Would you agree with that, Aaron, brother? No, no. I uh, Kayla and I got very, very close, and I was I was enjoying that part of it. And my wife and I were mm -hmm. were fighting over different things, and that would cause me to gravitate more over that way. And I, um, I, you know, I, I would say that uh, Kayla actually uh, helped me quite a bit during those times. So uh, no, I, I wouldn't say uh, I wouldn't say remorse. I mean, obviously, we saw how this whole thing ended. Like there was there were a lot of fucking things going on. There were a lot of fires to put out, and it all just caught up with everybody. Now, let me ask you uh, about the, the warrant uh, and the alleged shape of the kids or whatever. Again, these are allegations um, put forth by the police, so you know I'll keep it as alleged. Um, do, you, do you feel guilty about that? Do you feel like maybe you should donate some of the money you've made off this to the Ricada children? Or I do, I do feel guilty about that, but the other thing I will say is I've been gone from that situation for almost two months, and what they described seems quite accelerated from when I left. It seems like things went even more downhill because it. some of the stuff in that, like the description of the kids and what they said, that shocked the shit out of me. So, I, I mean, that well, was you the said, first. You said on the uh, casino, right, that when you were all fucking, I guess the four of you were in a bed, you might not have been fucking, whatever the fuck. Um, the kids knocked on the door. They were hungry, and you fed them. So already there was some sort of neglect thing going on by yeah, your own admission. I, right? But I've I've said on my show numerous times. I've uh, you know I've cooked for them. I've seen uh, Kayla cook for them. I've seen Nick cook for them. I've seen April cook for them. I mean, I, you know, I we've all gone grocery shopping before. I mean, it's not like these things. Well, I mean, it ain't right by your own admission when they're knocking on the door as you're all in four in a bed and they're saying we're hungry. And then you went down to cook for them. I mean, that's not right, is it? No, that's not right. That's not right at all. Like, uh, y y you know, that that's obviously a terrible look. Also, that's a no yeah. to donating to the kids as well, right? Is that... Yeah. We're Are you going to give the money, all of the no, money you've no, made no, to the children? We're, we're in the process. No, we're in the process. We talked about that on the show this morning. Um, okay. I don't know if the people who are currently in care of the kids really want to hear from any of us in that regard right now, but well, I'll go through. I'll, I'll go well, through I'm the sure police. the money would go a long way in making sure. No, 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 what I'm saying, guys, if you let me finish, guys, let me finish. We're going to go through that. either the, the police department or a third party and get it to them anonymously that way, because I don't know if, you know, anybody wants to, speak to me at the probably moment. not i would assume now no. uh ryan harkness shamu's here too but ryan harkness unmute yourself and then then i'll get to shamu uh you had a question ryan go ahead yeah sorry about that earlier i, I think i got it working now but what i wanted to say is uh there's typically three deadly sins when it comes to this east web shit that ends up doing people in and ruining their lives and i think all parties involved are guilty of at least one of each of these three sins uh, the first and most, most forgivable one is just having thin skin and not being able to take the heat. I think that's what did April in, despite the fact that you, Aaron, kind of, I'd say, pushed her into this. Uh, the second one is living the gimmick too hard. Ralph knows a little bit about that. Yes. He bounced back from doing that. That's obviously what did Nick Ricada in, uh, just going too hard, being a rock star. But the third and most egregious, and this is the one that I think you're guilty of, Baron, is just wanting it too much. 
wanting to be a clout goblin too much and doing things that you kn- knew were going to lead possibly these ramifications. So you're, you're telling me that you just had your intentions were curiosity with this polyamorous thing. You developed feelings for Kata's wife. Come on, man. It was yeah. the clout. That's why you wanted no. to do this. Just admit Look, it. Man. Look, man, I can understand why you think that way, and you are allowed to think that way absolutely, 100%. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, I've been honest, and if you read all the documents, I've been right on about everything. That was not what it was about for me. But you, you are allowed to think that way. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not gonna tell you you can't think that way. I'm not going to tell you that you're not allowed to feel that way about me. That's totally fine. I'm just telling you from my gut, from my heart, that's not what it was about for me. All right, there's you. there's there's you. You on air contradicting yourself several times. You told Ralph when you were on, uh, or he was on your stream, no, cocaine wasn't the substance, and it, and then literally days later, oh, yeah, absolutely cocaine. They're all doing it. I was doing it. Well, after they got There's fucking a contradiction. busted, I can't really, dude, after they get busted, I can't really cover for them anymore. Well, that was after they got arrested. Yeah. Wait, what you, you implicated yourself earlier on your stream. I talked about what I did. You said I talked about myself. Right, and I said, like, one at a time, time gentlemen, know? gentlemen, gentlemen. One I at a time. I said when I talked about myself, I'm only going to talk about me and what I did. Then after the bust, it's kind of, I mean, there's no point in protecting anybody anymore. It's kind of the cat's out of the bag. Come on, man. You weren't curious I, I, about on, Kayla or Kata or whatever. Her name. Right. Come on, man. I got it. All right. Uh, give look, your, at the, look at the mug shots of your beautiful wife next to her. That's what you were going to choose over that? You had the world in your hands and you gave terrible. it up for clout. Oh, I'd certainly do coke off your wife. Those mug bro. shots are fucking terrible. It's awful. Your and wife was good and crying doughy eyes. All right, one at a time. I hope everybody one gets one better. All right. All right, Ryan, final thought. Your wife was gorgeous in that way. I thought she still looked good in the pit. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of men lining up to fuck your soon-to-be ex-wife. It looks like. All right. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Look, we all did what we did. We're all responsible for what we did. So you guys have your fun. You guys say what you. I mean, that's what I did. I set myself up for it. All right, Ryan. Give your papers, Aaron. Are you gonna divorce it? Aaron, Aaron. The sooner you admit it, gentlemen, gentlemen, one at a time. Listen to me. I run this show one at a time. Now, Ryan, give your final thoughts here, and uh, then I'm going to let Shamu in. And Gamison had something he wanted to say, too, I think. But just I'll run the show and speak yeah, one at a Go ahead. Look what you got to deal with now, Aaron. You're going to get 15 minutes because you were chasing the clout. You have to relive Nick Ricada sticking his dick in your wife, which you could have retained if you didn't throw her ass on air for clout in the first place. If you didn't uh, pursue this racial relationship for clout in the first place, you could justify it all you want. But this is going to end. You know, the attention span of people is less than 48 hours. The super chats are going to dry up. You are going to have to rest on the laurels of doing the Steel Tone morning show. And you should have just did that and had it be good and done the biggest, best, so, most funny show that you, you could. So but you, you wanted to ride Ricardo's so hotel, and this is what you're you, with now, man. Don't talk about the thing that's going on in my life. That would be your advice. I can't do that, buddy. I'm sorry. I have to talk Wait, about you the did shit. It no, don't. No, no, you said no, you kept it all quiet until, what, two days, three days ago? Well, you're being a little unfair. I mean, she clearly wanted to be on the air. I mean, you right. know, I, I mean, mean, you guys are wife, being a little unfair on that one. Now, I mean, she I, clearly wanted to be out there. Yeah, would I, uh, you know, would I put a, a partner on the air ever again? No, absolutely not. But my wife came. Me to me either, and, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, she, came to me, she, hated, <laughs> she hated the job she was working. We were able to bring her aboard and do the show with her. I had a great time doing the show with her. The internet is a fucked up place, and it it got her eventually. And I fucking couldn't help as much as I should. I it just, you know, it got away from us all. And, uh, yeah, it was a fucking, it turned out to be a big fucking mistake. But at the time, my wife came to me. She loved doing a show with me. She hated her job. And I really thought we were doing a good thing by doing a show together. It turned out to be a fucking disaster. I sympathize with that, actually. Yeah. Um, but, uh, no, Ryan, you, you know, you got it. You know better, buddy. You got it. I absolutely do know better. That's a ridiculous idea to think putting your wife on air would be a good idea. When it's your turn, you're going to do a better job. Absolutely, I will. I'm going to make sure I do a good show and not try to put my wife on air. 
I right, wish you let another man in your all right, life for clout. All right, you. let's keep it moving. Uh, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. I'm glad you got your thoughts in there. <laughs> thank let's, you, Ralph. Let's have you on again Very Friday cool. if you're down. Thank you. I appreciate you, man. See ya. It's right. a little unfair. I mean, she clearly wanted to be on the air. Right. I mean, of come course. on. Okay. Ryan's just yeah. kind of being cunty. Now, Shamu, go ahead. Yeah, Aaron, you said earlier that you said, uh, quote, people around town were wondering about our relationship. And so I was just curious, did you ever attend church with the Ricadas at any time? Like, why would people be asking around town about your relationship? I went, yeah, I did. I went one time. Yes. And I think April Whoa. went. When? When did you go? Oh, fuck, dude. Um, do you mind if I, I keep the timeline kind of wide? Because I don't want to be wrong here. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I have no way far. to prove you wrong anyway on the really? timeline. Yeah, but I just want to be as close to sure. accurate as I can Sure, that's fine. Uh, yeah. late, late February, early March. I'd say before Easter, after Valentine's Day. So you did go to church so, with the Ricadas. You understand that establishes a connection with you in the church, and that that's going to lead to more speculation that you rat Yeah. <sighs> oh, I mean, look, I didn't rat. I mean, I didn't go to any of authorities and rat that way anything other than what was on my show so i have no problem talking about okay it. well i mean I'm, I'm just saying i'm just i'm just telling you that's what yeah. people will, will think but look but, i mean fucking assholes are already saying i did sure so that's true that's true that's you know, fair what does it matter to me i'll i'll, I'll talk about that's what fair. i did i mean again ralph I, I have nothing to worry about absolutely everything that's come out right now has been 100 percent what i said it was and if you keep if shit keeps coming out it's going to be 100 percent what i said it was why because I'm, it's what it was my life. It's what I lived. It's what I saw. So, Aaron, are you afraid of Nick filing a lawsuit against you? No, I mean I have uh, receipts for absolutely everything. I mean I, I, you know, you name it. I mean I, I can back up every. I mean, first of all, most of what I've been talking about was found in that search. So I mean, Tom right Grossi there, three dollars too bad. The bike. All right. So, um, and then I'll. Um, I think uh, Shamu dropped, but uh, Tom Grossi says, too bad the Vikings suck, or you can move on to the sports grift, is what they say. Right? Yeah. Uh, I could, I could go. <laughs> uh, all right. We have another caller here. Uh, let's see. And I wanted it to be like this, actually. Galactic uh, sent oh, wait, let me get the super chat in first. You didn't go to authorities and uh, that way did you go to anyone in the parish and confide in them? Okay, so Galactic says, when you say you didn't go to the authorities and rat that way, did you go to anyone in the parish and confide in them? I honestly have not talked to anybody in their church. Um, one guy recognized me from the show and shook my hand while I was there. Other than that, I didn't talk to anybody. Oh, shit, bro. Does anyone even watch your show? Well, they have been lately. Oh, we, had, I mean, no, been we, had a, we had a uh, we had a big radio show in St. Cloud. That's where the guy knew me from was the radio show. Yes. Right. Did he know you from other such endeavors as like letting your wife get fucked by the lawyer? <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 it was that one, too. Yeah, he probably saw it. You're being so rude to this guest, Godwin, and I can't even believe this. He's, look, I, I want to hear, I, I, I wanna hear what look, drew him it's into all, this relationship. It's, it's, all, it's all fair game. You know, everybody's talking about it. You know, everybody's discussing it. People get their, you know, people get their time. All right, uh, Robert, go ahead, unmute yourself, and then I'll let Perspicacity, since he wants to go into deep thought, which is fine, and I'm, I'm yeah. down with that too, but go ahead, caller, get your thoughts in. Yeah, hey, I only really got one question. Earlier he said he heard, uh, he decided to go this route with the Ricadas because he heard about their reputation. What, how salacious is that reputation? How, how bad is it? How much did you kind of know before you even got into this situation? Just the, ge just the general idea that they had. Which would be a? They, they had been, um, what's the word? They had been, uh, God, what's the Swinging. fucking, uh, Swinging no, 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 no. That they had been tangibly linked to it. <laughs> Go on. I, did you know about the going to I didn't know anything. Like I didn't know anything specifically. I just knew generally that they were tangibly linked to those kind of things. And was this like talks with other creators or where did you get this information? Just the lore around the internet. I never, no, I never talked to anybody about it. What specifically oh, did you hear and see? That exactly. they that they were interested. Yeah. That they were because you're being they, very vague with your answer. Like I mean, I, no, you're asking me what I knew beforehand. That's all I knew beforehand. I'm not like a big you know. Sit but on you the had to have seen something, right? Or heard something? Like you're you're not giving the specifics of what you saw. All or heard. I heard is that they, that they were into that kind of lifestyle. That's literally all. But I how heard. did I you hear it? I guess is what I'm saying. Like. Uh, because when we, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. When we did the comedy show with Chrissy Mayer, people in our chat would show up and go, oh, they're swingers. Oh, they're swingers. Oh, okay. they're swingers. All right. That's about it. That's it. I mean, okay. That's, fair I'm, enough. Fair enough. I was just saying, you're being a little so late. Chrissy. I can 
can understand. But when that. people, it, it is it is a little One frustrating time. because when you get like when you do, people ask you questions and they want a certain answer, and when your honest answer isn't what they want, they some of them lose their fucking mind, well, and you're like, dude, I'm sorry, I can't yeah. give you what you want. I have to give you what I know. I understand how that goes. Um, all right, uh, Robert, finish up your thoughts. All right, so you're saying basically around the time you met up with Chrissy at the comedy show, you, that's when people started bombarding the chat, and you're saying that Chrissy didn't say, hey, you know, these guys are known for this or that, or are you? No, Chrissy never said that. No, this was all just, like I said, it was internet lore. It was in our chat and, and all that. Well, I guess that's good enough for me. If it's good enough for everybody else, I'm just going to go ahead out and uh, let you guys continue this great show. Uh, have a good one, Ralph. All right, thank you. You have a good one, too. Um, all right, now, go ahead, Perspicasti. Yes. So, because what I really want to know is I'm not really all that interested in, you know, like, oh, did you fuck her in the ass? How did you do? I mean, I, I imagine you either. did. But <laughs> that's not what's important. I want to know about how this happened. So you meet the Ricadas at this, this Chrissy Mayer show. How do you get pulled in? What do they do? What's the first time you go to their house? What is that like? Is Ricada uh, just open like a suitcase full of drugs, or no, is it a no. slow burn? Do they pull you in slow? Anonymous. No, it, it's um. Saying- no, I don't. You know, there wasn't like this. At least for me, I can't speak for April. I can't speak for anything anyone else. It wasn't this grooming thing or anything like that. It was, you know, I'm I'm my own guy, and and you'll find that I don't really get you know, pushed around, thrown around. I made a decision in my life that came back to bite us all in the ass really fucking hard. And I, you know, obviously I need to take, I've been taking responsibility for that. I hope everybody does. Uh, it was a big fucking mistake. And I, there's nobody dog walked me into it. I dog walked myself into it. Well, there was a, okay, genu- there was a genuine, how does it happen? There. This happens a lot. This happens with a lot of people, right? I mean, this happens all the time. It's just not, you know, like an internet sensation. Everybody isn't talking about it. But this happens all the time, especially with yeah. couples. They think, oh, we could swap wives. Oh, we're hanging out together. You know, maybe this could happen. We're drinking a little. We're doing a little coke. We're doing a little molly, a little ecstasy. Things happen. How does that go down? Is it like all of a sudden like, oh, you want to take a little ecstasy? We're in the hot tub. What is it? No. I want to know, no, you know. Just, like, I mean, it's just not as... Like a, a lot of you have this idea that it was like a fucking movie. Um, it really yeah. was like life, normal, and then here's these other things sprinkled in over time. Um, it it didn't. It, yeah, it wasn't like there were these giant movie scenes that happened where these big steps were taken. It was all kind of. It, it was gradual. I mean, what's the what's the old saying? It was uh, slow very boil. Slow. Yeah. No, well, it was uh what was it? The, the term I think like the phrase like it, it, yeah. it happened uh over a long period of time and then all at once. Well, Aaron, you know? who was the first person to bring drugs into the equation? Was it you? No, uh that would be we were out to dinner, we came back to our house and uh Nick did. So Nick was the first Nick had one a little, to a little the uh, what's what what he called a bullet. Um and what's that and for the audience brought, at home? Uh, just a little <laughs> It's a little, yeah, it's a little container. It's, you know, and you can, you know, kind of get a little up the top and you can take it that way. You can open it up and pour it out. And, um, yeah, that was the first uh, exposure, if you will. Were you reticent to take it or were you just hoovering it up? Oh, God, no. I took, like, little baby bumps at a time. I was... Now, uh, there are some people questioning. Hold on, wait. There are some people questioning, like, that you're minimizing your... Your drug well, use. Your that, was but, there? What, yeah, what, was there like an anticipation that this was going to happen, or you went into this totally like in a state like we're going to be friends, we're going to hang out, this is going to be fun, or was there always a thought in the back of your head like I maybe they want a party? Well. Yeah, maybe I could fuck his there wife. Was, there maybe was I, I, at least I don't know when I got this feeling, but I do remember getting the feeling of like, be careful, this could get away from you. Um. I don't know. I obviously didn't listen to that voice, but I do know at one point early on, I did have that impulse, but I didn't check it. All right. Interesting. Now we have a, oh, there was a super chat that came in uh, and I'll ask that. Uh, some have been saying, this is anonymous, by the way. Some have been saying Aaron looks and acts like an older, fatter flamenco. People are saying this. What do you think? I don't know if you know flamenco. I, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not, I, I know the name I'm not with, like, I'm not with you. I don't know. I'm not familiar. Okay. 
Um, now let me uh, let the next caller in here. Uh, go ahead, uh, JD Power. Uh, after it connects, if it connects, go ahead. Unmute yourself. If you can, if you can't, then yeah. Now go ahead. Hello. Yep. Go ahead. Just curious on like how much blow you think like you guys were doing in like just say like a weekend type style. Like how how hard did it go? I don't. Great you question. know, it, it's it's a question that's too specific for me to be able to answer. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I don't so. know. I don't know measurements. I don't know uh, how much they had. Who was taking the most blow? Who was, yeah, who was hitting it the hardest? I, I, from what I saw, I saw Nick do the most, but that doesn't mean he was doing the most. Again, everything I say is what I saw, my eyeballs. I'm not saying he did the most. I'm saying I saw him do the most personally. Now, obviously, that does beg the question. Now, a lot of people have been asking, was there any homosexual entanglements with Nick Ricator? And obviously, if you're looking at Nick doing more drugs than your own wife and the other bitches around you, that kind of does feed into that. Were there any homosexual interactions? With Nick no, there was, there was nothing gay going on. Was there almost gay? Was there like... No, there was, not, there, was not almost, there was not almost gay. There was... Uh, was, was there healthy, any like, empowering going there, on? There was, yeah. there was a healthy, healthy amount of immature homophobia, I think, in the whole thing. No accidental touching or anything like no, that. No, no accidental yeah. touching. No, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Did Nick ever throw a pass? No, 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 no. Did neither of us. Give you an eye? No, okay. neither of us were were into that sort of a thing. You All know, right. you catch Nick, you come out, and you, Nick is I looking know, at you. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I know you want Nick to be gay. No, no, no I'm playing with you. Not necessarily. No, but I do I don't. feel it's apt to ask this as we're on this question. Was it always protected sex, or were you shooting blanks into Taylor? Well, I've, I've had a vasectomy, so there was no, you know, I've had three oh, kids. You blank. Yeah, you're shooting blanks into her, was, yeah. was Rackett shooting this press load? I mean, he's got five kids. Was he going into your wife, or? I don't know, and I didn't care to know. Um, what, I was if having he, my what if he had gotten your wife pregnant? Was she, was she on? Wait, wait, that would have been she, a fucking disaster, and I might have been arrested for homicide. Was she on uh, birth control, or like, uh, I mean, was that going too deep with it, or like? Was she on birth control? No. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> well, you were in a very dangerous situation then there, brother. Uh, Dude, I, well, what you fucking think? Well, I'm saying you're letting him <laughs> possibly, you know, shoot off in your wife. Like, that could have happened. Yeah. If you've watched any coverage of, of mine of this whole thing, there is not any one part of it that I'm telling people to go out and do because it's no, really no. I'm not saying thing. you're advertising it, but I just We're didn't realize that it was. I, 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 I would think. I'll she... be honest, Ralph. He's a great advertisement for his wife. Where can I sign up? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right, okay. JD Power, get your final thoughts in. I, I, got, I got one. I got one more question. Um, what, what, like, when you found that little uh, bullet of coke in your house around kids, like, allegedly. what did you do? Did you just call him up and or allegedly, allegedly, um, like, did you like was he there and you just fucking wigged out on or like I lost my fucking mind um I, I yelled everybody get the fuck out of the house leave get the fuck out of here sent my kids outside to play and just fucking lost it uh that was because I had asked very early on uh when Nick was over at my house uh my kids were not home Nick took out the the bullet again and he put a little bump or a small line out on my kitchen counter and just did it and i just looked at him i said what the fuck are you doing i go what what, what the fuck i go i got three kids that come here if my ex-wife found out there was a fucking speck of this shit i'm gonna lose my fucking kids don't ever bring it in my house my house was a known no drug zone i was not but okay it was all right there in his house with five kids being homeschooled that's a fair question but yeah, no, that's not only a fair question. That's an uh, an accurate statement of how we treated it, and it's fucking dog shit, and we have a lot to atone for, and we fucked up big time. None of us are innocent. Bad parents, bad spouses, bad everything. But it was we okay to do coke around his kids at his house, but yeah. not at your house. Not around his kids. I will say this. Well, not around his kids, but at the same house right, as his okay. kids. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, making yeah, sure you know. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah I know you guys weren't snorting up lines in front of the kids, but no, but it was at the true. house with the kids there, allegedly, according to you. Um, I mean, so, allegedly. I mean, they found well, the- I'm putting allegedly because I'm playing this neutral, and I'm one of I get the, it, but the yes. cops found it at the house, and the kids well, were home, I mean, obviously. But you see why some might say, like, 
well, it's okay at his house with all what, these kids, but not yours. Like yeah, that. did you feel like it was like it was there was designated zones? Like clearly, the this bathroom no, and was, this master bedroom more, were like the designated zone. It, no, it was more like I had a set of rules for my house, and I didn't feel like I could set rules for other people at their house. Did you like Nate took your wife? I would have loved it. Your house? I would have loved it if <laughs> cocaine never entered the equation. That would have been fucking great. But that's not the way it yeah, was. It all right, did Nick book your wife at your house, or was that off the rules? You are, dude. You are fucking obsessed with the sex part, dude. You gotta get the sex <laughs> you gotta get that checked on, buddy, because you're, you're sniffing. That way, yeah. You're sniffing way too much dick, buddy. You're sniffing everybody's dick in this. Whole well, you thing. were just you on the keynote casino, well, and they did know. the same. They did worse Everyone than what we're know. doing. Oh, they sniffing my dick too. Everybody's dick sniffing. One hundred. You put your dick out there to be sniffed, right? Like I mean, I. Yeah there's, yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, I did, you're right. You it's, stuck your dick it, out and said, hey, sniff it. Uh, and yeah, so now people really are asking helps. these questions, right? But there's uh, a lot of repetitive questions. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah, yeah, I that's, understand. Right. that's fair. That's fair. All right. All right. Let's move off that. Uh, let's take a, let's take a caller. Uh, let's see. Uh, go, uh, let's see when it connects. Go ahead, caller. I'm mute yourself. Please. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah, Hello, go, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I was wondering about the Nick and April in the, the stream, the bunker stream, so to speak. Did, uh, was there the logistical possibility for April to be under that desk? No, I, I mean, just the way them. that desk is and the way the equipment's set up and everything. I, I know that's like popular lore right now. And mind you, I wasn't there at that time. I'd been gone for a while. By the time that stream happened, but uh, no, it's just not, it's not feasible. It was it's, there a hole in the back of the desk she could have crawled under. No, I'm just talking about the amount of gear and wires and physical stands and things like that that are in the, there's just, uh, there's just not a way without hearing. There's no way to get to where you would need to be without it making like audible noise. Like that, like the noise yeah, I think you might be right when about they, that. But. When they turned up, when they turned up that noise all the way, you would have heard a lot of knocking around of shit and moving of things. It, I mean, it's when I got my dick sucked on air, I pressed mute so that it couldn't be heard. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, and went off camera. But uh, now, our, now, now my I have got my dick sucked on the kill stream <laughs> live. Yeah, for sure. I, yeah, my my I table here. Off I don't, camera. Yeah. No. yeah, my table here. It is possible. I think there's clips of there uh, up, unfortunately, of having it me having it done to myself. <laughs> but it's uh, it's it's a little more wide. Yeah, that's why I took oh. the camera off and the meat of the you mic. Really but, go and that. then, as for the the children, um, is it true that their clothing was just unwashed? That they were walking around um, you know, for days in the same like all set of, of clothing. And I can tell you this, like, like I said, is this that Lord of must, the Flies with you must, serving out no, Gettio. All right, and thank you, caller. I, by the way, Go may ahead. I? Um, yes, that that must have been something that fell apart in the last seven or eight weeks because I, I never saw the kids wearing like three or four day old clothes or stinking or anything like that. Like I never, I, I mean, the kids always had clo you know clean clothes on and everything else. I I don't I don't know. Um. But then again, I've been gone for almost two months. So who Did fucking knows? Did the kids know about what was going on in the house or was it all kept from them, Aaron? It was kept right, from them. Were they with the nanny the whole time? I, I will tell you this. There was, yeah, that, that, it, that was kept away. I mean, any of that kind of stuff that was going on was either when the kids were out of the home or, you know, uh, late, late, late after everyone had gone to sleep and everything. There, there was never any of that being done just irresponsibly. Well, I mean, as irresponsible no. as you can get. But, uh, but, but like, <laughs> the were asking really, some sort okay, of questions. Guys, okay, one at a time, again, one at a time. Yeah, let's let okay, them Again, you guys, it wasn't this fucking movie that you have in your mind or anything. It was, it's very... I'm not well, say I'm just boring. like, you know, I'm a Rakata kid. I'm going into the kitchen. I'm seeing you standing there making me SpaghettiOs. And I'm like, who are you? What's going on? Like, can you explain this to me? You know, and there's another woman there as well. You know, it, it must be confusing for a kid, right? I don't think that's unreasonable. Again, you're asking me to um, theorize on something. Um, and that's not something uncomfortable, uncomfortable I'm doing. I, I can only talk to you about what I experienced. And no kid ever asked me any weird, strange questions about them. Or just like, who are you? Did the kid ever ask who are you? What are you doing in the kitchen? No, no, we, I mean, we were introduced to the kids early on and they got to know us. And uh, I mean, well, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, now, there were allegations uh, in the um, uh, search warrant of uh, track marks or track like marks on Ricada's arms. Personally, I press X to doubt on that. Um, but did you ever see him do anything like that? I don't Never think. once. Yes. Never once. So even you're, the, even you aren't no. running with that. Yeah. Look, man. Look, look. I, I don't. I, I don't. Um, I, I don't. I, I hate who Nick became, and I hate that he's not taking responsibility for it. But this man was a friend of mine. Like I did like this guy, and there, when he's sober, he's not a bad guy. But man, those fucking demons that he's got really turn him into a completely different person. And I just want these people, you know, to just. Just fucking snap out of it. I want them, you know, I'm going through a lot of emotions with this, and I, I thought maybe I could work through them on air, and I, I told you, Ralph, privately now that I'm really starting to yeah. feel that that's not possible, and I'm, I'm spiraling a bit. Well, you've got Alex Stein I, I, next, Darren. I mean, you've got to keep that I, I'm, I'm going to honor the two commitments Man, he that I've got, you. And I thought you would. He trashed you pretty hard in the clip that we were. Was... Ralph, I'm sure he did. I can't fucking listen to everybody who – you know, well, you were there up. in the chat. Like that was the first time yeah, April met Rakeda, and he's calling you. He's like, oh, he's, he's like, how did that. you get? Oh. Uh, how did you get yeah, with yeah. Uh, with Aaron? Like, oh my God, she oh, saw Alex you're I, so out yeah. of his league. Uh, and Alex trash and you. I, have, yeah, Alex and I have spoken a lot since then. I've been on his show. He's been on mine. Okay, and, okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, no, we've worked, we've worked that that out. Kind of like like Gino Bisconti and I in real life are very good friends. We started out just shitting on each other. Uh, but he's a, he's a good guy too. I, I just uh, I'm gonna do these two shows and then I'll keep it to my show because a I'm fucking overexposing myself like crazy and didn't realize it uh, until I looked at all the bookings I've been doing. Um, and number Whoa. two, uh, you know th this is gonna end like this is the coverage of this is all gonna be done. I gotta get back to doing my fucking show at some point. The only thing is my show is talking about my life and talking about the news. And like I said, my life is the news. The news is my life at the moment. Well, I can tell you this for a fact. It's not going to end anytime soon. Uh, no. and this so, will be with you forever. Yeah, uh, Ralph has been dealing with this for years. <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> scandals know. and stuff like that, like it'll be with you forever. But I'm saying oh, there's yeah, more I'm, it's coming I'm down saying, the line. Rakeda is going to come back and stream. Uh, all this stuff's yeah. going to happen. Uh, like it won't just go away. And by the way, caller, you can stop requesting. You've already called in. So you're, we're doing our thing here. Uh, if somebody else wants to call in no disrespect but uh, uh you've already had your call in um but uh yeah i mean there's more more to come like this thing is still got a lot of burn on it well i i, I do wait wait, wait. let him answer let him answer now I, I, I really i really hope that he because i i heard something today about he was going nuts in some group chat or something and saying stuff he shouldn't i really hope that before he does any kind of comeback or anything like that, he goes and gets help. He goes and gets sober and he, he does it the right way because he's facing very serious shit right now. And he can't, you know, he can't be slipping up. I really, I really just want the fucking guy and I want Kayla and I want April. Well, April isn't facing any charges. I just want everyone to fucking get clean. That's it. That's all I want. All right. I'll let Gamas pick it up after this. But uh, uh, Wigger Wagner says, if Nick writes a book, will Aaron also put out a book? Was his question. Then one more, and then I'll let Gomez and pick it back up. Uh, a book? Nah, I, I mean, I don't have any desire to write a book. Okay. No. Uh, all right. Now, uh, this is from JQZ. He says, this fucking snake should have spoken up way sooner. He didn't even need to report it to the police. His big fucking mouth did the job. LOL. You're a slippery fuck trying to act like you weren't involved in this, is what he said. Uh, I don't I know if you're trying to act like you weren't involved, but maybe he's saying I, you're trying to minimize. I don't know. I don't think. No, I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you exactly what I did. Every single thing I did. I don't, I don't think, uh, it, you know, uh, doing Molly every other weekend is not exactly me saying I'm innocent. Um, you know, uh, doing coke three or four times, not exactly saying I'm innocent, um, saying that we didn't do enough to help the kids, saying that I was a bad husband, a shitty dad for a while there is not pretending I'm innocent. I just can't cop to things I didn't do. And also, okay. I should have gone so, uh, to, to anyone sooner. He's saying I'm a snake that should have gone somewhere sooner. I'm not disagreeing with you, sir. I believe I've been saying well, that this entire time. You did time. say that, to be fair. Um, now, go ahead, Gomez. Yeah. So I'm just kind of like trying to wrap my head around this. I know you are you gonna ask normal, no but to everyone else it's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> everyone else, you're Darren, ask, you're kind of ask about up, somebody's right? cock. I bet you you're going to ask about somebody's cock. No, I'm just going to ask quite simply, Aaron. Like, how do you get out of this? Because you're 
what you're recounting is like normalcy to you, but to everyone listening, it's like, holy shit, you opened up your wife, you did all this stuff, you're on these shows now, you're feeling remorse now, you're going to like sigh in a moment and do the same thing again, and then you're going to do it over and over again on your show. At what point do you go, ah, let me recalibrate? Because I know you think you have, but I don't think you have, bro. No, it's, um, no, what I went through is really fucked up. Um, pretty much every well, What about what you're going through now? What yeah, about it's about now. Well, it's, still, it's still happening. It's still, it's still happening. Still it's still happening. happening. It's not like it's no, in the past. Okay, guys. It's, right, just no, it's let still, him answer. Let him answer. It's yeah, still ahead. fucked up. Like, I'm, there's no, I don't know what the right way is. Like, I have no fucking idea. I'm white knuckling this whole thing. And um, I, I just, I, I have no idea how to fucking handle it. Because like you said, as I now get back to regular life, everyone I talk to is like, holy shit, dude, this is fucking insane. And I'm just starting to realize now in the last week or two, uh, now you know what, the last month or so, just how fucked up what I, what I did was and what we all went through was. And it's hard to, you use the word recalibrate. I think that's a great way to put it. I don't know how to recalibrate yeah. yet. Um, I was talking to my therapist well, has anyone, today. Wait, and, Aaron, uh, has well, your therapist or anyone in your life, has anyone in your life, a therapist, whoever it is, you know, your support network, has anyone actually gone, don't do these shows, don't go on Alex Stein? No, nobody's nobody said that. Lawyers, everyone else, they're like, look, just stick to what you've done and everything else. One thing I will say is a, a very good friend of mine that I've been talking to a lot, I did pitch the idea. I, I talked to them. I go, I feel like I'm doing too many shows. I feel like after this Ethan Ralph and Alex Stein thing, I should just fucking lock it up and do my own show and try to start phasing back in the normal elements of my show. The problem is so much other shit keeps coming up. I After... Ralph here and after Alex Stein, that's that's gotta be it. Guitar for, um, Anthony sent five for doing other shows because it's a bad look and I'm I'm fucking trying to navigate it and uh it's just it's hard day to day. Like guys, I'll tell you off the air. I think the reason I've been on the air so much is because off the air, this is a constant struggle and at least making some jokes every once in a while or getting in some fights or whatever is an escape from being inside of my own head with this whole thing all throughout the day I actually completely it's, understand that not your yeah, situation so like, exactly but you know like, going through a divorce uh, all this stuff uh you know on air is like a refuge uh somewhat it's a, it's a refuge but it's also remarkably but it's, unhealthy yeah it is yeah. it's unhealthy too when you start talking about it because uh you're just feeding too much you're yeah feeding too many bad people and then god and then god yeah. Woodson wants to talk about you and your wife fucking all the time well, I mean, you put it out there, man. Like, I, you know what no, I mean? I'm like, kidding. I know I'm you're joking, busting, but it's like, you can't really blame balls. him, right? Um, uh, no. Anton says, uh, when the photos, this super chat, uh, when the photos come out of Aaron smiling ear, ear to ear on MDMA, will he change his story? Uh, is what he said. I when don't know. I, I don't when did know. did I say? I, yeah, when did I say I wasn't on MDMA? I think well, I just. Are there photos then, Aaron, that you're aware of? Did you all take photos together? I mean, we have photos of us out and about, like, and stuff like that. I don't think we ever, I don't think we took photos of, like, us just, you know, hanging out at the house doing karaoke or anything like that. And then there's the hot tub stream and all that. I mean, no, I, I we took pictures of us, to, all of us together and, and all that. Well, but, you implied um, you had nude pictures of his wife uh, yeah, on one of these shows. Oh, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm talking about pictures that, you know. Well, I'm talking about nude pictures. I'm talking about and, and, pictures that I would feel comfortable coming out. Uh, well, I, I'm not saying <laughs> oh, put them yeah. out. Don't do that no, would be my advice. Uh, yeah, but but what I'm saying is you implied you out. had that type of photography. Um, I think we all, I think all of us have some pictures to some degree. Okay. Um, when you're in the, when, you know, I mean. You're in look, the mood? You ever been in a, you know, when you're in a new relationship. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. What do you do? Yeah, I know what yeah. you mean. Yeah, there are some picture exchanges. Yeah, well, I know what you mean too, and I won't get into it. Now, let me uh, ask this question uh, from as an inside <laughs> joke there, but uh, I'll from that. <laughs> 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 uh, Guitar Anthony, that's a little sector lore. Uh, Guitar Anthony says, uh, "Say Kayla divorces Nick and says she wants to marry you. What do you do? Have you hoped this would be the end result?" No, no. I mean, we're we're talking about eight kids, one roof, and all that. New, no, new, no, new, no, new, no, new, no, new, no. new. I the the only way any of these relationships were going to work was the way we were doing it. Oddly enough, and they can't work that way. So this was, I mean, to me, I and when I left, I said the same thing. I said this is this was all doomed to end badly from the start. I, I said this was all 
JQ's doomed to be. I mean, this is a disaster. And um, you know, I got a text from Kayla Monday, uh, where she said you were uh, right. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want to go into all the. Just let's okay. leave the text. Let's leave leave the text out of that. Um, I, because they're not here to speak for themselves. Sure. I decided sure. not to. I, not, I decided not okay. to go down all the right. road. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Um, okay. so, um, but, um, so, JQZ said, God bless the goal and God bless the goal. Indeed. We are what, uh, I don't know, 38 away from hitting the goal. Very close there. Now go ahead. Gobinson. It was uh, me. Excuse yeah. me. Adam. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I wanted Sorry. to say, so you think that like this, this, the drugs and everything are a way it makes it a lot more normal when you're in it because you're like constantly under this influence. You don't have to think about it. Is that what you're saying? No, I, I'm saying that, I mean, maybe, you know what, maybe a little bit, but also it's just when you introduce different forms of degeneracy, perhaps other forms of degeneracy don't seem as bad. You know, you're already, you know, sure. basically we're already into well, it to this okay. level. So what's this level? You know, if you're already, you know, sure. to go from like, you know, if you're at church on Sunday and you go, hey, let's trade wives, like that's fucked up. But if you Whoa. go, let's go for a beer, <laughs> let's have some coke, do this, let's do that. Like if it builds yeah. slowly, you know, it's a little easier, I guess. So you're saying it was a slow build. Like it started out very normal Again, and then all met, of a sudden yeah. there was one night where things went too far and then that became like the norm. Yeah. Again, we met in October and, and none of this stuff. I mean, it was two months before any of that kind of stuff started okay all right go ahead gowson because i'm i'm returning a message here yeah right sure um so God, what right. made april stay i mean because you know you were in a loving relationship i guess what made us stay not, out? not at that point we weren't no at that point it was it was too far gone um we we're just fighting fucking constantly and uh, you know when one person is on something and the other person isn't on that thing. There's no fucking yeah. way to communicate. You're not hearing each other. You're not, he you know, the way her brain works and the way my brain works is different. And if I talk to her about this problem, she perceives it as that problem and vice versa. I hear her say something. I say it back to her wrong. Uh, it's, I mean, two people that were like this went that way. I mean, and, and just went in different directions. And it just wasn't, we weren't the same oh. couple anymore. As a man. I mean, it, as, as a husband, right, you kind of play that proactive role where you can go, look, don't do the drugs. Look, come with me. Come home. Yes, right. Right. I mean, you take that proactive approach, don't you? Did, did, I did. you try? And I did. Yeah, I did take that proactive approach. It clearly did not work. Um, it but was did, just you, Did you I really mean, or was it, it was, just like yes, no, absolutely. And, and it led, dude, it led to multiple just knockdown, drag out screaming matches in our home in their home i mean it just got fucking nasty and it just got and i'm sure the way i communicated it to her once it got heated was probably fucking uh you know ripped her apart and then the way i know the way she talked to me fucked me up and uh yeah we just we we both became two different people than we started out so so uh so these knockout drag out fights, it's just like the next day after the first time happens, do you wake up and you say, oh my God, what did we do? And then you have like this incredible reaction to it? Or no, is it this was, maybe the thing we, we no, the, thing, the thing her and I fought about was drugs. Right. Yeah, that's what her and I fought about. The other stuff, you know, the more they fought with each other, the more we fought with each other the more each th this is what made it so unhealthy was our coping mechanism was each other you underscore um, sent one so if you were fighting if you were fighting with your spouse you'd go and talk to the other person about it and that's remarkably unhealthy but that other person comforted you and made you feel better so you spent more time around them naturally here's a little take and please shoot this down Aaron, if you feel it completely off the wall so this is your idea by your own admission you brought april into this right now, well, it looks now, like I, April I, no, I, let me clarify one. Let me clarify one okay. thing quick. I'm the one who verbalized it out loud first. I think it was kind sure. of heading that way. I think it was sure. heading that way. Right. But I verbalized Fine. it first. Whatever. Yes. But do you think that, and let's be fair to April here, do you think that she was consuming more and more drugs to pacify this, to try right. and get rid of those thoughts where she's thinking, you know, I'm, I'm in a marriage. I'm certainly married to this guy, but you also need to fuck other people. 
So do you think she, that's what made her take more and more drugs to try and like medicate herself to make herself okay about, with yeah. the normalcy? I've, I've thought about it because maybe the closeness that Kayla and I were exhibiting, because the two of them did sit Kayla and I down on multiple occasions, say, when you two talk to each other, you don't hear anyone else or, you know, this and that. Like, there would be, like, discussions about, like, you know, closeness and stuff like that. And maybe me, in my anger towards April when we would fight, maybe me flaunting my feeling, not flaunting, but, it, you know, having these clear feelings for another person in front of her, may have caused her more pain than she let on. Again, I, she never said this to me. This is not, this is my total speculation, 100%. But April is a, a tough, she's someone with that tough exterior. She'll put up that wall. So you don't think you're hurting her. You don't think you're doing anything to affect her. But I have thought in my own head multiple times since I left, wow, maybe me and this other person having these feelings, having this affection, maybe it did weigh on her. Maybe it didn't, but you, you know, I can't take it your probably did to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, have, absolutely. I would have to imagine. Uh, also anonymous with, he says uncivil law is not suicidal. And he linked a clip. I'll play that clip after we still have about uh, 30 minutes uh, with Aaron here. Uh, and huge oh. asshole says Goblinson's Goblinson is the new Tartsky. Whoa, Aston. Whoa. No, I would never. Compare. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bling 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 <laughs> is he is, yeah. Where's the begging for money? Yeah. Just a quick uh, question there, Aaron. How did you find that show then when they're screaming super chats and you're just having to like, sit there like what the fuck is this i'm sat next to a 600 pound lesbian and a retarded crackhead what did you think there did you think you were in good company or like what actually what the, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, first thing, uh, the first time uh, the first time i saw their show was when they were making fun of our hot tub stream and we watched it on sure. our show and kind of made fun of ourselves you know we we kind of just i i, I kind of went um I went, oh, God, this is cringe. Oh, shit, I am being really unfunny. Oh, God, this was a terrible idea on my part. Oh, fuck. You know, that was, um, that, that's where I first discovered their show. And it was actually, like, I thought, you know, no offense, because, again, I'm not involved in these, these internet beefs and everything, so I don't know how deep all this shit goes. Uh, when Ashton was kind of ripping us apart and everything, there were periods in it where I did laugh. And I was like, oh, yeah, we are being... But that, that fucking hot tub stream is such easy fodder for humor. I mean... What can you do? All right, now I have a I have a few questions uh, here, or at least uh, one. Did Riketa ever talk about w Wilshire Boulevard or Coach Red Pill to Aaron? No, see, like people, and this is and this is where the clout chasing thing always <laughs> kind of bothers me because Nick and I never talked about streaming stuff. We just didn't. It, it, we were like, I mean, yeah. the guy and I, we were friends. You're we busy, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we were. Busy. <laughs> um, no, we were. I mean, uh, we were. Uh, yeah, we didn't talk about streaming shit. Okay. Um, now, I guess, uh, what's your biggest regret out of all of this? Oh, that's a long list. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, opening, up, opening up and scandalizing my marriage. Um, I, I would getting involved in drugs in any way, shape, or form. Um. You know, and obviously what happened with, uh, and, and then my other regret, my personal regret outside of the group, outside of all of us, um, my biggest personal regret is not doing more. Like, I feel like I left a burning building. I didn't pull anybody out with me. I have a lot of that guilt. Um, again, I think the reason I'm streaming so much or go at being a guest and everything else is because when I get off the air, I'm fucking just bouncing around a lot of different shit in my head. And one of them I just can't seem to shake is that you fucking ran out and you didn't take anybody with you. It, not, not that I didn't try, but you'll always be like, oh, well, that's a pussy excuse. You could have tried harder. Um, that would probably be my uh, scandalizing my marriage and, uh, and, and not doing and not getting anybody out when I left other than myself and my children. All right. Uh, now, I, you know, the, the whole thing is just. Like I said, this is not going to end. Riketa is going to come back and stream uh, and and respond uh, to to a lot of this. Now, not the legal stuff, I'm sure, um, but um, what do you think he's going to say? Uh, is he going to have some things to fire back at you? Um, You're going to be on the crosshairs, Aaron. For yeah, real. I mean, that's, yeah, for real. <laughs> that's fine. Like I've I've ratted on myself. I mean, I've um, I've talked about everything I've done, and I'm not I'm not proud of a lot of it. So. Any criticism uh, that he, anything that he's going to throw at me, is probably fair game from his perspective. Sure. 
right. Uh, now, do you? But I do genu- I do genuinely hope that he's he's clean and he's getting healthy. And- well, he has to be because he took the more restrictive probation, and so they piss test him. Right? I mean, theoretically, I hope, in theory, yeah, he has hope. to be. Right. Uh, but he could have paid fifty grand with no restrictions on his bail. Instead, right. he took the more restrictive bail, which I think was smart because it can show that he's sober. It'll help with getting his kids back. Uh, yes. It'll help with you know right. possible plea deal yeah. and all this stuff and reduce he, charges. I hope he does. I hope he does. Yes, and I, I I didn't understand why he did it at first, and now. And this is no inside information. I just figured it out. It's like, okay, it's better to have all that on record, right, uh, for the court. Yeah. Uh, and so yeah. I think that was the smart play. Um, but I do imagine, I mean, he has to come back and respond uh, to some of the things you've said, right? Like, I mean, if he's going to come back, which he is. He, he said he is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Um, so that's why I say this is not going to end anytime soon. Well, no, and when I, I don't mean end, but I mean like the, the cycle of me just like every show being about this. Like I just want to start mixing in some of the other elements. You know, the, the crowds are going to get smaller and smaller, um, which is fine. Um, you know, all of that. I just, uh, I went through something really fucked up and uh, I'm talking my way through it. And I really, you know, I'm trying to navigate which way is the best way to handle it. Like I said, Ralph, you know, when you when you have stuff like this happen, you walk around thinking about it. Yeah. So then you go, let, you know, let's do a show. And then maybe we won't think about it so much. Then you're done with the show and you start thinking about it again. So, yeah, it's it's going to be it's going to be a long. Well, road. when you talk for a living, you, you get used to opening up maybe more than yeah. you should. Uh, and I completely understand that. Um, now, maybe taking it to the extreme but it's an extreme situation so um you know it is what it is um all right perspect Govinson, what do you guys got so you feel like getting it all out there you're taking the wind out of nick sales you're getting it all out there people are you know eating this shit up they want to know all yeah. about it they want to know about every sexual activity that you ever engaged in with the ricada family you know but do you think like that and the end game is going to benefit you because I mean, rackets really doesn't have anything else to put out there unless he makes things up. I mean, I don't know that that's true, uh, but anyway, go ahead. Well, he can, I mean, he can put out his perspective on it. I mean, certainly like I have, right. I mean, yeah, I mean that that's about what he's got. Yeah. He can talk about his perspective on this whole thing. I don't know if that's wise while the case is pending. Well, all the personal um, stuff, I mean, Without speaking about any legal issues, I mean, I, I would say that he could he could speak about that stuff. Um, yeah, he can come now back it's all everything in the public. You and if he's going to come back and stream, he's going to have to. So yeah, um, yeah you're going to have to talk about it. Um, uh, now the legal stuff, I know that he won't. Um, but um, and I did, I got the quote from him last night. That was a legitimate quote um, that that I got from him, uh, and. and um, he said he wished you a million dollar, dollars uh, uh, in the quote. But I, I imagine <laughs> when he comes back, he, he might um, say some things. I don't know for sure. But I didn't, but I didn't do this. Here, here's a – I just don't want this to be – to fester into fact. I didn't do this for Nick Ricada. I, I didn't do this for my ex-wife. I didn't do okay. this for I, – I did this because I'm having a hard time with all this. And I'm trying to figure out a way to exercise it. And one of the ways I thought would be bearing my soul, talking about the shit I did, um, you know, it try, trying to navigate, you know, doing a show where you talk about yourself, um, but also not having this giant fucking cloud of lies and dishonesty over your head where you've got to, it's really fucking hard to lie about shit every day. It's really, it was hard to tell you no. Yeah, you should know the people. Uh, on the swinging thing, you just fucking carry it around like a ton of bricks and telling the truth feels so much better. But the problem is the things I did were so fucking bad that even telling the truth doesn't like set me free totally. I still feel like garbage. Well, like many it's gonna people, be- what? Hold on, let me say this. Many people yeah. uh, have criticized you, uh, saying you're trying to frame yourself uh, as the as the real victim, and you're you're the one who's hurt by this. Uh, and there's kids involved on the on the Ricada side. There's kids involved on your side. Aren't those the real victims? I not keep, you. I keep hearing that, and I don't know how many times I have to say it. I'm fucking garbage. I did a. You lot did say of that bad- before, yeah. Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. I did a lot of bad, terrible shit, and it's not good this is not me being a victim this is me screaming fucking forgive me for all of the terrible shit i did i it's it's an it's an incredible situation i've never been a party to anything so crazy in my entire life and i just don't have the fucking processing power 
to get a handle on but it. But you can see why people I, I are did. saying this though, because the show numbers are up, your money's up, everything's working right. Like, and you're t- the a, more I'm you talk about, it, the better yeah. it is really for you. And so some people mm-hmm. are like, you know, Ryan called I'm, in earlier, and he's like, well, this guy's yeah. doing this for clout, and he's getting off on it. Oh, uh, I'm attached to a huge fucking story. I can't help it. That's like saying, uh, you know, uh, uh, OJ was doing his trial for clout. You know, I mean, I mean, I'm part of a massive <laughs> story. And I can't detach myself from it. And if I do, I'm lying and I'm being dishonest. If I go, I have no idea. I don't know. I washed my hands of it a long but time. You know what? OJ I- didn't do any interviews. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, a good, that's a good point. Um, no, I wasn't on like bro. Uh, yeah, look, if you think I'm playing victim, then I'm I'm sorry. Let me reiterate well, once again. No, I didn't say that. I'm just saying that's – that's, that's yeah, 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 other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let me reiterate for the 900th time. I was one of the bad guys in this okay. whole thing. I did a lot of fucked yeah. up shit. Scandalized my marriage. Scandalized, you know, children and, and, you know, engaged in degeneracy. All of it. Bad look. Don't do what I did. Don't open up your marriage. It's going to be bad. Don't do drugs. It's going to be bad. None. I know that there are people out there watching this going, oh, yeah, but I do it the smart way. It's going to be a fucking disaster. I promise you. Don't. I don't think there's any smart way to let another man fuck your wife and you watch in the corner, but I guess, you know. Been a pleasure to meet you guys. <laughs> well, he'll remember your name at least. I was going to say, don't you think that the this hot tub stream was actually like a call for help, almost like you wanted people to know. And a lot of people of did pick up on that as a call for help. People were like, "What that's the fuck?" And yeah. some people in your audience were like, "What's going on?" Filter. Let's let's yeah. yeah was that a call that, for know, help? That's, no, that's really interesting. Um, my attitude towards it was. The swinging rumors were already starting at that point, and they'd been going for a while. Like, these guys are all fucking each other. You know, uh, it's amazing. Like I- I've said before, there's so many things that you read online, like rumors and people's ideas, that you almost look around at each other and go, are you guys leaking shit to people? Because it's like these people are in the fucking room sometimes. Um, but uh, the the hot tub stream, my idea uh, of it was, all these people are saying this shit, guys. Why don't we just go so over the top, silly shit with it that, you know, people maybe back off the rumor. Uh, now, if you guys are going to laugh at that and go, guys, dude, that's the dumbest fucking idea. Well, obviously, because it didn't fucking you work. You thought it was going to be like a reverse psychology thing? Like, look at what we're doing. It can't be real because they're yeah. flaunting it in public? Yeah. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Uh, it turns out we made another really dumb fucking decision. Yeah. You really are nuts, bro. Yeah, no, I, yeah, there's, this is a long, it's going to be a long road back to anything healthy, uh, from this. But then why deny it the whole way until like this week? Right. You, you clearly wanted people the whole to way. know. That's what's the because, most curious part of this whole thing. No, you clearly because, wanted people look, to know. once the arrest thing happened, I can't really hide that part anymore april getting caught with that and then the whole internet blows up with and you know nick stream and all everybody they're fucking each other and this that and the other thing and it's just like uh, and then you're carrying around that lie that you you know you just keep lying and lying and lying and then well here's the fu- thing bro like april's charges got dropped you both could have like just kept your noses clean and just literally walked away from all of this and kept your silence am i wrong Everybody knows that we were there a lot. Everybody knows we were hanging out with them a lot. There's no honest way to go. Oh yeah, th- yeah, that was oh yeah, fucking no. I had no idea. Like they, people would have sniffed that one out. They, By the they, way, they we knew. hit the goal while Aaron's still here. I'll give you the big reveal uh, that I've been teasing uh, throughout the show, and we are what uh, thirty-two dollars away. I got, I I got think, about ten. I got about yeah, ten minutes. That's about ten minutes on the clock. Yeah, and you you kept your word, and I'm I'm glad you. Uh, moved it up a little bit so we could have our original time. Um, have you, and you don't have to answer this, by the way, because I hate even really asking about kids, et cetera, but has it affected that area of your life? Have you had to talk about this with your kids? or like? Um, um, and you don't have I, to go I, there if you don't want. But My ex-wife and I have talked about it, and the, my kids are doing great. They're doing really, really well. Um, That's good to hear, bro. I've, I've talked about it on my show. Uh, they started to sense April getting uh, my oldest, I, not, not the, the other two, but my oldest started to sense April not being around as much anymore. Not, and when she was here being distant, um, I heard after the fact that my oldest was saying, I don't know if I want to go to dad's because I don't know what kind of mood April's going to be in and this and that. And then, and, and when I found out about that, I'm like, we're not going to be able to repair this thing. And you know, I gotta, you know, that, that that's gotta be it, you know? 
Um, and uh, yeah, that uh, now now that that's all been cleared out and I pulled my head out of my ass, uh, they've been very happy. I mean, they've been very thrilled, and they've actually been a big part of my support system, and they've been really great. All right, we got about nine minutes here. Uh, Godwinson Perspic speed run. Yes. Um, do you think there's any chance of repairing this marriage with April? She's a very good-looking girl. It seems like he's been way late. She really wants Got you to repair it. the marriage. You are, <laughs> no, you know, look. she seems to take accountability. Do you think you can reel her back and fix this marriage? There is no, a I think, I, no, I think we've hurt each other way too much. And uh, also, I want her to get better, and I want her to become – you know, a, a a better version of what we all are now. I think she does have it in her, and I don't think I'm a I'm a, a healthy option for that. I think the things we did to scandalize our marriage and our relationship, I I don't think you can put that toothpaste back in the tube. So I I don't think I'm good for her. I don't think. So she's have you filed necessarily... papers, or is she filed papers? Yes, we I, I yeah we I filed papers. Yeah. Was was this whole union a way to try to? salvage the marriage in some kind of way because that's what it sounds no, like it definitely yeah, no, it, 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 as naive as naive as this sounds and as unsatisfactory as this is going to sound to a lot of people i think we just thought it would be fun you know and <sighs> maybe it could just be harmless and you could keep it to just exploring these fantasy things and all that and it it's it fucking it it doesn't work that way um, Did you and find we found it quite hard to keep up with? Like she's in her twenties, you're obviously a lot older. You've got kids. Oh no, we. Did you find no, she was that, hard to keep up with. No, 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 no. She was. She was fun. Uh, <laughs> she was. Uh, she was a lot of fun. No, I didn't have any problem keeping up. But you clearly did. I mean, you left her in a drug-addled state at Nick Rizzotto's house. So, I mean, you kind of did lose that. Look, man, that when, you, when, you try to to, when you try to talk to someone and they just, I, I mean, and they just, you know, fucking cut you off at the knees and they, and then you just start fighting over it and everything else. You can't, I mean, you can pull them by the hair and drag them back like a caveman if you want to. And then every time they're on their phone, you're going to wonder. Every time they leave the house, you're going right. to wonder. It's not yeah. a state that either of you want to be in. Well, when you know your wife has slept with another man, can you ever really look at her the same again? It's a tough situation. I don't know if you could right. really could salvage have, that at that point. That's then. a good point. Like, it, could you, like, let's say we all, all four of us, we just go two and two our separate ways, whatever. Every time I'm on the phone, does she wonder if, you know, who I'm talking to? Every time she's on the phone, do I wonder who she's talking to and vice versa with the other couple? I, I don't think you can do that and then go back to anything normal. And I don't think you can pull off this four-person polyamorous relationship over a long period of time. But I don't think that was thought about. Yeah, and I agree with mm. you there. That can't, it, it doesn't work. Um, now, do you think you could get a Bluetooth sponsorship out of this? That's going to look really good for the he's just clout chasing crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, mean, hey, yes, uh, yes, you no, know. yes, but no. <laughs> yes, but no. <laughs> At this point, yeah. I mean, you've got really nothing left to lose. You're forever going to be known as this, like, eternal cuckold. I mean, it kind of fun. Thank you, Godwinson. Again, I can't tell you how fun it was to meet you today <laughs> and how glad I am that you and I have become fast friends. Anytime. Anytime. But, you know, you are going to carry, for real, like, man to man, you are going to carry this label around forever. And these actions that you've expressed here and on previous shows on the show following you are going to live with that for a long long time brother holy shit dude thank you so much that hasn't haunted my dreams for the last few weeks well what is the strategy to get around this clearly you know it, clearly you are also my, having sex with for k this one yeah so here's my how strategy. Is, what's the strategy make here's my as strategy. much money as possible you, <laughs> <sighs> here's my here's my strategy you can't run from this you can't so you face it, you face well, the slings and arrows. <laughs> All right, if you're a host of a show that's public, you can't run from this. Well, she was actually, um, she was actually arrested. <laughs> <You know? laughs> kind yeah, of changes like, things a little bit, too. <laughs> yeah, I can't, uh, you know, if you try to hide from this, it, you just look like a fucking phony, and, and you'll be, they'll just chastise you for that then, too. I mean, I, I got into something way too deep, and I have to live with that now. I have to take responsibility for what Literally. I did, and I gotta take I gotta take my lumps like a man. Stop it, Ethan. <laughs> I had to. Um, Sorry, man. It was, it was there. It was on the table. You know how it goes. Um, yeah, I just uh, and I, you know, it's uh, 
there's no playbook for something like this. Now, is there anything, uh, you know, we talked, we've got about four minutes or so left. Um, is there anything throughout this whole circuit you've been doing, and this is part of it, um, that you feel like you haven't said uh, or that you would like to address? I know you're going on another show tonight. Because yeah, you're too. at the very end here. You've yeah. kind of gone through the gamut of questions. Yeah. Is there anything that... I'll, I'll say this. I have handled uh, obviously there's no like i said there's no playbook for this i've handled it imperfectly um uh, while telling oh, my playbook. story and what i've experienced yeah my experience and everything else um i don't um i i just there's there's days where i say some things and i go yeah i fucking hope i didn't like hurt anybody or anything like that and then there's other days where i go i the fucking there's no remorse in anybody and somebody's got to fucking pay and this and that like there's i run the gambit of emotions every day day to day and it's 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 different every day and i wish i wish that weren't the case but that's that's about the only thing i'd say is that um having to you know going through this very publicly yeah um with you know and and i do feel like i've had to discuss a lot of things that i wasn't discussing before because other things were happening you know the the nick drunk stream the arrest everything else i, I mean holy shit um it yeah the whole the whole thing has been a fucking crazy right you got to remember when all this stuff was going down last week i was kind of like my life was my routines were coming back and things were getting back to normal and then a fucking atom bomb goes off and now you're scrambling and you have to try and uh, deal with it while on the air but then also in your private life. well the big it's, thing before was merch roasting you and your co-host and stuff <laughs> and then all and i was watching it and i was trying to set up a blood sports which you were down for by the way uh yeah. and then you know that didn't happen but that was the main thing and then this whole bomb just came out of nowhere i'll, I'll we got two minutes left and i'll let you answer I would, this i would kill for the merch fight today yeah <laughs> yeah i i would love that actually but uh do you think you'll ever get over this? Uh, do you think your kids will ever, ever get over this? Uh, you know, this is going to be out kids, in the public domain forever. Uh, and I know really, a little bit about these sorts of things, right? Uh, being in the public domain, not these sorts of things, but, uh, you know, scandals and stuff and always on the my internet. Kids, Internet's forever, as they say. My kids are have been very resilient about it. I will say this. I will, no, I won't be the same. I whoever I was going to be before this that's gone and someone new is going to take that place and we'll we'll see what that does again I I, I know this if, what's that <laughs> say it again Amazon yeah what did you say uh, I called him a cut of fly because he's being uh, worse uh, you motherfucker all right finish um, your thought though finish your thought um yeah what I I mean just again be as open and honest about it as possible because you never know what's going to come out and uh just admit to what you did. You know, the old saying, if you tell the truth, you don't have to have a good memory and uh, just face the slings and arrows of it. You can't, you can't run from what we did. That's for sure. And uh, just hope that as time goes on, uh, you know, it, it goes further and further into the back of your mind, I suppose. Um, do you, and one last question. Do you think this has been good for your career? I see Mr. Man says nobody knew who, who the fuck you were till this happened that's not necessarily true some people know who you were um, i know you were but um do you think it's been good for your career uh net no uh the the impact it's going to have on me personally and the long-term uh impact because the, the show numbers and everything are going to go back down uh people are interested in this because i'm a first-hand you know i'm a first-hand sure. witness whatever to and participant in all of this stuff uh, so I, i'm well aware of what that is um no, I don't think it's a net positive. I don't. I think short term, there's a lot of eyeballs on it because I'm a freak show right now. I'm not the ringleader. I'm one of the circus animals, and I know that. Uh, long term, no, it's not going to be positive. I, nothing I've done should be looked at as a positive. All right, any final comments from Gomelson or Perspicast, and then let them go. Uh, just one, really, and it might require a bit of an answer that will might go over your time limits, but do you think Mike David of Red Bull Radio was right about you and your her wife? I don't did know. Him? What 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 did he say? He said exactly what would happen. Well, then, yeah. If he said exactly what happened, then he was right. <laughs> but he said it a, a while ago, and you got in a spat with him and said, "No, 
It's all lies. It's all bullshit. What am I, what am right, I going to what, what am I gonna say? That, no, Mike, we're not going to get to or yeah, Mike, we're going to get divorced. Absolutely. Well, no, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to argue with him. Yeah. You know, just because yeah. he ended up being right. I mean, fuck can I do? All right, Parspic, your final thoughts, and then uh, I'll, I'll give one more salutation to him. Let him my, so my final thoughts are, I, I just want to verify some things. So it started <laughs> off friendly. Things got sexual. Then drugs came into the picture to kind of make everything copacetic. You know, people are getting upset. People are feeling jealous. People are feeling all these things. So we do a bump of Coke or some Molly or whatever. Inhibitions go away things get out of control so you're saying no, that uh, I, no no i think no? again i think you're i think you're kind of fucking up uh the, the timeline and everything else you're, you're you're really kind of putting this in like an organized hollywood movie thing and that's it it's all kind of swirling around like it's and you'll have to forgive me because it, it is a whirlwind experience in my life but it's all just kind of swirling around and it's this uh, it's this tornado of just of, of chaos. I, I mean, so you're saying not, like one week, everything, it feels normal. Everything is normal. And then the next week it's crazy. And then the next week you're lulled in and it feels normal. Is that what you're saying? It's like hey, this you whirlwind. You know, that's not here's how I, here's how I describe it. Guitar, you have two Anthony weeks, everyone's cool, to everything's Dallas, good. And my final fucking thoughts. bomb Fuck goes goal. off and there's a drama or a disaster. And then you move past that. And then a week or two, you're, everything's good, you know, whatever. And then boom, another disaster, another drama, whatever. It's, um, it's not as cut and dry as well. It went here. And then it's not this linear progression. It's ups and downs. It's peaks and valleys. It's a giant mess. By the way, we hit the goal and I said, I would make the reveal mm -hmm. while you're here. If we hit the goal, uh, and I have been promised the first solo interview with Nick Ricada, uh, when he comes back to streaming, he's going to do his own stream, but I'm uh, glad I, I put that bet down. I've, I've, been promised, <laughs> yeah. I've been promised the first solo interview, uh, with Ricada. So that's why I said uh, it's not going to end, most likely. Um, yeah. So, um, but I thank you for honoring your commitment and coming right. on this show and opening yourself up to callers. You know, I wanted wanted to do it a different way than the kosher casino, right? Uh, and yeah. have more people involved, etc. Uh, and you you took it uh, you took it on the chin, and um, I appreciate your time, and I, I wish you the best. All right, thank you, buddy. Even though you're a complete piece of shit, Aaron, at least you're safe. I understand. Uh, no, I, I understand, Godwinson. I don't think we're going to be at each other's Christmases. Probably not. <laughs> well, are you easy. trying to offer a swap? I couldn't get out fast enough. <laughs> oh, oh, Godwinson. No, man. <laughs> thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.